No, it can't be. No way. Starting today off with something that I haven't tried maybe ever or in years, it's that yogurt parfait from Starbucks. I'm thinking to myself, you know what, something new, I was just trying to, this is separate, something new for us to try together. In terms of parfaits, not bad at all. I love all the uh, different fruit that you can find and granola on top. Kind of a standard one, nothing like extraordinary, but not bad, great way to start the day. It's so fascinating, some days we're out and about, I'm thinking of the universal example at the moment, and we get soaked out in the rain, and that happens once, then for a few, I would imagine probably months, you say to yourself, I don't feel like getting soaked anymore, so you end up sitting under cover for a little while while you enjoy some breakfast, water, and of course this amazing, <laughs> chai uh, with the four pumps of pumpkin. I'm reducing it down and it still tastes spectacular. That's definitely the uh, cutoff point though. Four is a little bit less than the pumpkin. Five makes it taste really like pumpkin. It's so funny, since all this started, I find myself sitting still in places, you know, because you have to be sitting still or standing still, actually eating or drinking in order to take your mask off and actually eat or drink. So <laughs> it's like become like a new thing for me where it's like, all right, I'm gonna take the first like, 20, 30 minutes of being in a park and just find a quiet spot and sit and eat and drink. <laughs> All right, Animal Kingdom day. Now it's still misting just a little bit out there, so I think it's a perfect time for Kilimanjaro safaris. The animals usually like just a little bit of rain, not, not that much rain. I think this is like the perfect amount for a lot of the animals on safari. Let's do it. No, it can't be. No way. Oh my gosh, yes it is. Right over there, that, right there, going beyond, beyond Tusker House is the line for Kilimanjaro Safari. Now it only says it's a 30 minute wait, and it's this long because of all the distancing, but I have never seen Kilimanjaro go all the way around, basically towards the Lion King show here at Animal Kingdom. That is a very long line. Given the longer lines that I've seen already, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way to Rafiki's Planet Watch. We went just a few days ago, but you know, I, I really enjoyed it. I really, really did. I wanna explore just a little bit more. Last time was cut short just a bit, so I wanna see more of those animals that you can find back there. It's so fascinating to me how our experience at Disney has changed so much over the years. You know, in the past you run around and do all these things and now we're just sitting back relaxing and finishing off that amazing uh, pumpkin chai latte, which is what I'm gonna call it, and uh, taking in some of these sites that I really never get to appreciate. Like, how many times have we been here? It's like the second time in a very long time. It was, it was very long, but these elephants right here, it's raining out there, so just kinda taking it all in. You know, I love it. Rain's coming down quite a bit here, but you can see, I don't think it's an Anquoli cattle, but it's a, it's a type of cattle that's out there. I'm gonna wait for the rain to stop, and I'm hoping you can walk over there and uh, at least get a further away glimpse. We haven't explored these exhibits here at uh, Conservation Station in years, years. We're learning all about the different diets that they have here at Animal Kingdom for the different animals. You can actually see there's a chart that I had noticed right back there, the, the uh, Bongo body condition scores. You can actually see their health based on uh, their body style, look at that. So this is doing well, doing not so well. That's great. You can see the hippo's got a similar chart right there where you can see the ideal uh, body score for the hippo. You can tell the difference so that they can uh, keep track of how much they're eating. Here's an example they're actually showing you and it is indeed fresh food right there for the uh, animals. They were talking about how this is some of the food that you can find for the birds that she was just telling us about. So cool. Now we're at the creepy crawly invertebrates section and there's the black widow spider I recall. Now I am not a huge fan of spiders at all and when I see this it uh, gives me a little bit of the chills but we're, uh, we're seeing them from two different panes of glass which is why it's difficult for you to see them. That is a giant tarantula. Take a look at the blue death-flying beetle right there. You can actually see them creeping around right there. Very, very interesting. Clearly they can't fly, but you can actually see there's, there's two of them right over here. Kind of upside down a little bit. I forgot which movie they used this uh, wisp scorpion in, but I remember having like nightmares about this scorpion right there. 
Well, all right, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try not to itch all over as I'm looking at these invertebrates here. Those are a few beetles right there that are super, super large. Oh my gosh. I had to move past invertebrates just because it's, it's too creepy for me. Creepy crawlies. We got reptiles now. Take a look at this boa right here. Oh my gosh, it's got that kind of red and silver color there. I wonder if uh, they're poisonous. I would imagine probably not, but they don't stay on the glass. That's something that I'd uh, have to look up. I'd love to learn. There's the blue-tongued skink right there. Now, if you are from Maryland or even from Florida, I'm sure you can find skinks. Not quite a lizard, not quite a snake. This one is huge. I mean, compared to ones that you find in around, you know, around neighborhoods, that is a gigantic skink. More amphibians over here. There are a couple of cases I can't really see. They're hiding in there really, really well. But take a look how they've kind of incorporated Tiana in here, along with the uh, with the learning exhibits here. You can keep your amphibian friends healthy by not using chemical pesticides on your lawn. And over there, you can actually see Princess and the Frog on the wall in the amphibian section. So smart. Now, Disney has a full set of veterinarians, including ones who can perform surgery on the animals to make sure that they are indeed healthy and safe. And I think they're looking at some kind of baby bird here. So it's like a baby bird right there. Starling is what it looks like. It had a little x-ray and they want to make sure that it's uh, it's safe and healthy, perhaps just a standard checkup, perhaps more. But look at this, they've got, they've got everything they need to perform all sorts of procedures to keep those animals healthy. Taking a look at the Science Center here too, and I'm pretty sure that's a 3D printer right there. Pretty sure it's a 3D printer. I would imagine maybe to make some like special tools that they need here inside that conservation station, but really cool. I love seeing Walt Disney right there drawing those deer. See him drawing the baby deer? I love that. Now let's go outside, see if you can see some of those other animals that are out and about. It's raining just a bit, but thankfully we've got the umbrella. Yay. All right. Let's see that Komodo dragon. Uh, don't think she's still here. I was just looking for her. Oh my gosh. Super cute goats here. Oh my gosh. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. How are you? Good to see you. Oh my gosh. Super, super cute here. They're enjoying some food. I wonder what he's thinking about. So apparently they go into the rain and then they uh, they don't like it that much. They, they kind of run for cover. Running a tremendous amount about these different uh, goats here and you can actually see there are different varieties all the way back there enjoying some food as well. Now usually they can let guests in here, but right now they can't. And I'm looking forward to the day they can again so we can say hi to some of these uh, goat friends. I'm still looking forward to when it does open up again because then we can actually see the demonstration that they're gonna do up on the stage in the future. Again, it has been years for me, so I, uh, I'm totally unfamiliar with all this. We'll come back and we'll see these animals out and about again, I'm sure, when we can get a lot closer. Okay, now it's time to go back to Harambe. Kilimanjaro safaris, let's do it. Kilimanjaro safaris, much shorter wait, 15 minutes, and no line all the way outside. Mid-afternoon now, and the rain is coming down just a little bit, so I think the animals will still be active. Let's find out together. Great safari, but now we're coming up to that new warden post in Kilimanjaro safaris. Take a look at it. It is really coming along super, super quickly. You can see the theming and the styling matches everything else we've seen at uh, Animal Kingdom, Harambe, Kilimanjaro safaris. Still not sure what it'll be used for. It's a warden post is what they're calling it, but I am very, very excited to see more going on here, Kilimanjaro safaris. Great safari, and we saw a lot of animals out in the rain, especially the lions. You saw them like looking right at us. That was great. That final warden post, very excited to see what that's for. Raining a little bit more now, so we're gonna find either something inside to do, or we're gonna try a Halloween treat here at Animal Kingdom. We'll definitely try at least one before the day's out. I love winged encounters here. <laughs> oh, there they go. It just flew in right past me here. You can see so many of them. It's just unbelievable. Slow-mo is key to catch them flying. They took off right away. It was super, super fast, but you know I love it. Taking a look at that foodie guide now for the fall that Disney released a few weeks ago. And I think the item that I really want to try today from Animal Kingdom is the Spooky Apple Punch Specialty Beverage. It's at Isle of Java and Flame Tree Barbecue, Sprite, and uh, apple syrup poured over ice with a very special glow cube, the, uh, the uh, not-so-poison apple, and it looks like a candy 
straw. Let's go try it. Here's the spooky apple punch right there. Gummy worm on the side. You know, I love it. They serve that candy straw in a plastic bag. So you can either choose to use it or not to use it. I'm going to use it for authenticity, but uh, so, so cool. And you can actually choose your little glow cube right here. See right here? You got the red glow cube, the purple glow cube, and the uh, greenish glow cube. I didn't get one this time. We got one before, but that's great to see. You can also get the alcoholic version, which is called the rotten apple. Here it is, the Spooky Apple Punch, non-alcoholic, looks delicious with the candy straw, you know I love it. I am going to try it through the candy straw, but also from the edge, because it's all been kind of like sugared, I'm not going to call that salted, it's sugared rim right there. Let's try it together, cheers. Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just got a mouthful of apple syrup, you got to mix it up. You do, I just sanitize, so you got to mix it up just a bit, otherwise you're just going to get mouthful after mouthful of intense apple syrup when I mix it with the Sprite. Now I'm gonna try drinking from the rim. Cheers. Mixed it up and that definitely helps a lot. I was <laughs> so you just drink straight syrup, you drink it right from the bottom. Um, the rim is actually really good, like sugary rim right there. I might continue drinking like this way, just because I feel like the flavor actually is a tiny bit better this way. You know me, usually I'm all about the sugar straw, but somehow for this one, drinking it from the edge, about that uh, sugared edge right there, is really, really good. Overall thoughts here, it's only okay. I wouldn't go out of my way for this one. Probably wouldn't get it again either. It just tastes like Sprite with a little bit of that syrup on the bottom. You know I'm all about the sugary straw though, so it's definitely got that going for it, and the different styles of poison apples. I'm all about that too. But between the two, when we got at Hollywood Studios, that frozen apple cider, far, far better. Far, far better. That that's the one I'd get, I'd get. This one I'd probably skip. Now we can't just have sugar for our lunch slash dinner here, so let's go somewhere else for dinner. Thank you, I had a wild time. Thank you. Whoops. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we didn't get any of that protein. I was thinking, I was thinking about bread service and Sanaa. I saw the virtual wait list, but sure enough, by the time we got there, it was already past two o'clock, so we had just missed it. But that's all right. That's all right. There's always next time. There is more rain in the forecast, so for now, I'm going to call it a night. A fantastic day here at Animal Kingdom. We'll experience more in the future. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.